to my channel. This is Be Unique Talking and stay tuned for this particular look plus a twist out in full detail of how to do, how to style your own twist out and the tips that I can give you about how to style your own. So I really, really hope you like this look. So stay tuned and just keep watching. Bye. Straight into the tutorial. My face is already moisturized and I moisturize with coconut oils where I usually do when I cleanse my face or it's really... Okay, so first I'm gonna use a primer. Um, uh, this is gonna be pretty much the same primer I use. It's, there's no much of a difference. Uh, do note from season to season your skin may change as it can get, it can switch skin types or if you're a combination skin one of those skin types that stand out more than the other. So don't be afraid of that. It's just the seasons, that's what happens. NYX Pore Filler, and I kinda, I keep this in, like on my cheeks. If you don't have issues with pores like myself, a little bit goes a long way. Um, and it's like a silicone feeling, very, very good, very effective, uh, but it is not a primer, okay? <laughs> So don't use this alone. Then I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is amazing. If you like taking pictures um, or you like uh, a good primer and you're not too, too oily, this is your best friend. I like using this because the foundation doesn't settle into my skin. The next primer I'm gonna use, remember the Photo Smashbox Photo Finish Primer is not a mattifying primer. I have combination oily and dry skin. So I use Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. There you go. So of course, I'm not gonna put a mattifying primer on the areas that is drying. So I'm just keeping that in the TZM AL. Black Opal True Color Pore Perfecting Liquid Foundation. And this is what it looks like. It is like a skin-like foundation. I really, really love the finish. And yeah, light to medium coverage. It is a matte finish, but it's matte enough to have your skin look like your skin. I'm going to use a beauty blender. I'm going to drench it with e.l.f. Make It Mist and Set, which is my favorite. I use this on my face before and after um, if I don't feel like using Scandinavia, which is another favorite. And this is cost efficient like it's like three bucks so the shade I'm using is hazelnut it is yellow orange enough to cancel any darkness that I have or as it should <laughs> but um I'm gonna leave it skin light so if it shows through it shows through no. Meg is too light you can always use foundation as a concealer that has great coverage so that's what I'm gonna do set my under eye and every place that I highlighted topaz then banana I'm seeing a wedge I'm pressing that in
rose blush and romantic rose i use it to blend it into each other um so i put this right above my contour so yeah blush from milani love potion so i haven't used this in a while but a little bit goes a long way this is the color this, this hot rosy pink the key to the to blush period especially if it's a pigmented blush um to use it towards the back and come forward because if you use too much you can easily get rid of that um blush by just bringing it forward um if you do it the other way around it's kind of hard to kind of sweep that back so start from the back and come forward and this sits literally right on top of that bronzer not on top but above it I am mixing, um, this is also by Milani, Soleil Highlight. With Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzer Highlight in Flesh Glow. And this goes right above the blush. and just mend all of that together. So I am using Fabu Brow by Jordana Cosmetics in medium brown. So we're making the brows as natural as possible. Just follow the shape and just fill them in lightly, especially if you want to spray. And then go back and brush the product. going on to the eyes we're using the NYX eyeshadow base this color is is skin tone these brushes it is palette 35 in these two shades here this orange and this brown We're going to blend it in with a little bit of this pink here. Out with this brown that we used before. It's from the Cool Shimmer 88 Palette BH Cosmetics. I use um, this pink glitter shade first, and this one right on top. Just to make the eye more golden pink, so pretty. Just put that in the middle. I wet the brush, and now I'm gonna use that same like golden shimmer. I'm going to put that in my brow area. Highest point on my brow, take your finger and 
blend it down. The lashes that I have is I mix Amage from Royal Crown Lashes, which is my favorite, um, and the number 11 Kiss Lashes. They look like dramatic, like dramatic wispy lashes. So moving on to lips, mix Cocoa um, Lip Pencil just a brown shade. I'm going to apply the lip, line, lip liner first. I'm going to wear uh, Milani Matte Naked. It's so pretty. Like one of my favorite nudes. And then on top I'm putting the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. to having a great twist out is to basically when you're after you wash your hair you're getting ready to twist out right you're getting ready to twist you want to make sure you're either following your natural part or uh, picking the side that best looks looks best on you so for me my side would be this side looks best on me so my hair is going to fall this way what you're going to do is twist all over right twist in a direction that you want to showcase your style so I parted it here and I twist in this direction all over as you can see so I unraveled my twist once it's a bunch of videos and I'll link the video I have for a twist out it's a really really old video you're going to I'm going to show you in the front here you want to unravel the twist more than once when you unravel the twist once, this is how it looks like. Obviously, it's not voluptuous, it's not huge, it's not, it's not cute. I have one strand already. Let's say this was my, my cousin, and I twisted this together. You're gonna take that one of those strands and you're gonna unravel it, right? So then you're gonna take the other strand and unravel that one. Now you want to be careful that you're not pulling or frizzing up your hair. You want to keep the definition as best as possible, right? And then when you're done unraveling that to, your, to the best of what you like, you're going to take your fingers, the tips of your fingers, and you're going to rake it up. It's going to start sticking out in the direction that you want your hair to be. So I'm going to do it in this direction. I'm over directing it this way because I want my hair to show more on this side. You're just going to basically do that all over and then you're going to get that voluptuous style. I really hope that helps. So I'm going to do that all over to my head <laughs> and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So right now this is the before and you'll see the after in just a moment. Your hair should look like this. And usually when you take it out in fours before you like whatever you do the the root height thing um, is flat like this. So you can take a section, you can unravel all of your twists, take a, take a section and just lift up like that just to give a better visual. And obviously that right there just created some volume. Your hair would just create its own volume because that's, that is your hair texture. I'm going to turn around so you can see exactly what it looks like in the back. So much for watching and stay tuned on my next tutorial. It could be either hair or it could be either makeup.